Tylenol is not dangerous for pregnant women to take. That's what many obstetrics, pediatrics, and autism advocacy groups are saying after the Trump administration linked the painkiller to autism yesterday. These groups state that there has been no proven causal link between acetaminophen, which is the active ingredient in Tylenol, and autism. But despite this lack of conclusive scientific evidence, President Trump told women, Don't take Tylenol. Don't take it. Fight like hell not to take it. And Health and Human Services Secretary Robert F. Kennedy Jr. said that the FDA will soon be applying a new warning label on the over-the-counter painkiller. Here's how three autism and obstetrics advocacy groups have responded to yesterday's announcement. Number one, the Autism Science Foundation said that they were, quote, deeply concerned about the Trump administration's claims. Foundation's chief science officer, Dr. Alicia Halliday, said, what was said was dangerous. Any association between acetaminophen and autism is based on limited, conflicting and inconsistent science and is premature. Dr. Holliday went on to say that the administration is making promises that they can't keep, namely that autism rates will decrease if pregnant women stop taking acetaminophen. This is a claim that is not backed up by scientific evidence. Number two, the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, a leading professional association for doctors working in women's health, stood by the vital importance that acetaminophen plays for pregnant women. ACOG said the conditions people use acetaminophen to treat during pregnancy are far more dangerous than any any theoretical risks, and these risks can put pregnant women and the fetus in severe danger. ACOG also undercut the basis for the administration's announcement when they said, in more than two decades of research on the use of acetaminophen in pregnancy, not a single reputable study successfully concluded that the use of acetaminophen in any trimester of pregnancy caused neurodevelopmental disorders in children. Number three, and the UK-based National Autistic Society said the announcement by the administration was both anti-science and irresponsible. They said that President Trump is peddling the worst myths in recent decades and that, let's be clear, painkillers do not cause autism and vaccines do not cause autism. Large-scale studies have shown that there is no robust scientific evidence to support this claim.